That right there, my friends, is one of the most beautiful sights you will ever see. Why is it so beautiful, you may ask? This right here is a red snapper slaying machine. Oh, a little bit. Oh yeah, that's, that's much better. Good job, Brian. So the reason I'm saying that, if you don't know, is that it is almost snapper season. It's here, guys, almost here. We've got a little bit less than a month from the day that this is coming out. We should have like, Two days less than a month-ish, three, maybe, somewhere around there. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is it's getting close. We're getting the boat ready. We're getting the rods ready. We're getting the tackle ready. You know, I, I, I'm i ready. I am so ready. Summertime on the Gulf Coast is just unbeatable, really and truly. And with it being another Fish Fact Friday, I figured I'd go ahead and let y'all in on some Red Snapper Fish Facts. And if you already know about Red Snapper, why don't you just go ahead and stick around and see if you learn anything new, and if you don't don't know what red snapper is it's gonna be good so y'all buckle up and welcome back to another fish fact friday fact number one they're delicious no i'm just kidding uh they are delicious but that's not fact number one so red snapper just like the bass last week i really don't know how to say a red snapper scientific name so it's going to be popping up right here somewhere and if someone out there can say it shoot me a comment in the comment section because i need to give you a round of applause because that is impressive my friend their colors white red sometimes a pinkish color sometimes not very often but they can be like a little bit more of an orangish tint i'll throw some pictures up right now obviously you can sort of see where they get their name from red to pink upper body with their underbelly being white and possibly gray adult red snapper are usually just more of a solid pattern but juvenile red snapper a lot of the times can have darker or lighter colored lines with a dot near the end of its dorsal fin. Red snapper have been recorded to grow up to 40 inches weigh up to 50 pounds and one was even recorded to live more than 50 years. Juvenile red snapper can be found anywhere from shallow oyster reefs and bays, estuaries along the coastline, and sometimes even with their bigger relatives offshore. But most of the time they stick a little closer inshore so they don't have to deal with the big red snapper that will eat them if given the chance. Big adult red snapper do tend to live in deeper parts of the Gulf, but they can be found in places besides the Gulf like bays and some lagoons, as long as it's deep enough and as long as the structure there is suitable for their needs. Most of the red snapper in the Alabama Gulf Coast and surrounding areas are caught off of either rocky bottom reefs, artificial reefs, which can include something like a sunken tank or a sunken tugboat, all the way to a oil or gas platform in the Gulf, but rocky bottom and artificial are the two most popular to target. Red Snapper's diet contains pretty much anything in the Gulf of Mexico. Red Snapper loves squid, shrimp, crabs, all sorts of different types of bait fish like sardines, ly, or pogey. They love cut bait mackerel or bonita eels, and like many other species, they will cannibalize their young if given a chance. You just gotta love fish parents, right? Jeez. The red snapper spawn usually happens in the range of May to October along rocky ledges, rock bottom, and sometimes coral reefs. The fertilized eggs float on top of the water, hatch only about a day later, and by that time, they're usually pushed into an estuary or a bay where they sink down into the water column and begin their life as a small fry. And if you are wondering about when red snapper season will be for recreational anglers in Alabama, this year is going to be from Friday, May 22nd, and last for 35 days in total, and then close on Sunday, July 19th. Weekends are defined as 12 o'clock a.m. Friday through 11.59 p.m. the following Monday. So you've got four days each weekend. And size and bag limit, 16 inch total length, two per person per day. That's the same as been for a while, but uh, at least we have a lot more days to go out there and target them now and that is per outdoor alabama so you know it's going to be pretty accurate so red snapper are some of the coolest fish one of our favorite fish to eat they're super fun to catch and this summer y'all will be seeing a ton of red snapper videos hopefully as long as everything you know gets better and stuff i hope y'all are excited as i am and if you have ever targeted red snapper caught red snapper anything like that leave me a comment and tell me about it in the comment section below that would be awesome i would love to hear some of those stories and if you are new to the channel and you like fishing outdoors nature travel all that good stuff 
stuff, you should go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that like button because you will be wanting to stick around for the rest of the summer because it is going to be great. And I think that's all I want to talk about today. I appreciate every single one of you that has tuned in. Thank you for all the support that y'all have showed me. It's crazy how far we've grown over just this short time. And speaking of all y'all out there, I hope every single one of you are having a great and fantastic day and you know what it is. I will be seeing you later. Mm -hmm.